Okay, now we've got our block secured, so we're ready to take our measurement. Um, and the best way to determine what what the strongest dip is is if you it's a bit damp. You can it'll be the direction that water wants to flow down. So if we put a drop of water, maybe a little bit more, um, it will flow in the direction of um, of the biggest dip. So what we want to do is go perpendicular to that to measure the strike. Is to turn the compass around this way, um, and then I rotate again through here. So the red arrow is within the big red arrow, and then that's going to give me my uh, my reading. And it is um, I read it off the top here. So it is twenty or two four six. So it is striking two hundred and forty six degrees. Now the next step is to look at the dip. And what to do this? We rotate this particular compass east west. And then we look at the back here. So it has a series of different um, numbers. If it's going this way, it'll be pointing at zero. So that's zero dip. And then as we increase it, it goes this way. So if I look here, it is dipping 23 degrees. All right. All right so this is just another angle at that dip measurement. So you can see that uh, I'm careful to keep the compass upright so it's not tilting one way or the other because that'll make the arrow uh, not point directly down but be on the side. Um, and you should be able to read the uh, kind of more pointy arrow there, a little bit in the foreground. And it is just uh, a bit after, tw after the 20. A uh, thing to remember with these is that they only write the numbers every 20, so it goes 0, 20, 40 and 30 is that slightly uh, larger tick um, and then this is pointing at 20 